Hey everyone, Metal Driver 89 here bringing you my first WWE Elite review and what better way to start than with Elite 64 John Cena. Taking a look at the sides of the box you can see an image of John Cena on the right and on the left you can see his name. Looking at the back of the box you can see the True Effects logo, an image of John Cena, bio, stats, a description, and the rest of the figures included in this wave. Taking a closer look at the back of the box near the bottom, it states career highlights and a description. Career highlights include 16-time world champion, United States champion, and WWE tag team champion. Description stating, starting at Royal Rumble 2018, John Cena searched for a way, anyway, down the road to WrestleMania, living up to his motto, never give up. Taking a look at the stats, you can see that John Cena is from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. He yet stands at a height at 6 feet 1 inches with a finisher, the Attitude Adjustment. Now that we've had a good look at the box, we can open up this figure and take a better look at John Cena himself. Now that we have John Cena out of the packaging, we can take a closer look at the figure. Looking at the figure, we can see that he's decked out in a bright green outfit. Uh, this outfit was uh, seen during his uh, early run of 2018, so from January to April 2018 is when we saw this gear. Uh, looking at the figure a little closer, let's take a look at his face. The camera focuses a little better. There we go. Alright, so this figure, according to the packaging, uh, has the true effects feature. So this is the new uh, style of head scans that Mattel is now doing with their WWE Elites and even basic figures. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, it looks pretty spot on. Definitely looks like John Cena. Uh, I don't have another John Cena figure to compare this to, so I don't know if this actually indeed looks better than the previous John Cena figures, but it looks pretty good to me. Um, looking at the rest of his gear, so we see he has his... Uh, his dog tags, he's got a respect logo on his shirt, on the hat, if we can take a better look, it says never give up, and you can't see me, there we go, alright, so he's got his shorts as he usually wears, his knee pads, his wristbands, and his shoes. All right. So this figure, this figure does come with a uh, slew of accessories. So here we have two extra hands. They're open hands. We have his clothes that he wears and his hat is uh, dog tags. Uh, I do count those as accessories because previous John Cena figures that I've seen. I have not always come with shirts or hats or even a dog tag. So the fact that he's wearing that, I consider that as part of his accessories. So looking at the hands here, so they are the open hands. They're pretty easy to put on him. So all you have to do is just pop that sucker out. Here we can put his right hand on if I can do this while looking at the camera there we go so this is actually pretty neat uh, I do believe this is the first John Cena figure uh, with interchangeable hands uh, I'm not sure if there was one previously I think there might have been an exclusive somewhere or maybe that just had different hands I don't know if they had uh, interchangeable hands but as far as I'm aware I do believe this is the first John Cena with that and now that is something that we are seeing with the current uh, waves of WWE Elite figures so this is really nice so here you can actually mimic his you can't see me taunt so there you go so you can do that and of course if you want to pose him in the ring you can also do the five knuckle shuffle so going back to John Cena's gear I do consider this as his accessories because again as I mentioned not every single John Cena figure has come with a shirt so the fact that he actually comes with one uh, is actually pretty nice because it is removable so you see here on the back there's this velcro so it's pretty easy to remove so we're gonna go ahead and do that 
we're gonna take off his hat, his dog tags, and now. the uh, ring gear is now removed or I should say his entrance gear now we can see that underneath we do see an armband so there it has his trademark never give up mantra on his left arm so it's uh, in a light or a bright green much like the rest of his gear so taking a closer look at his body uh, paint apps for the most part are decent uh, mine does have this white splotch on his abdomen, uh, which is a little frustrating. I mean, it's an easy fix, but it still kind of sucks that it's there. Uh, looking at the back, it looks like it's uh, pretty much okay, with the exception of maybe this little splotch here on his back. Uh, yeah. Again, it's not too difficult uh, for me to fix, but it's still a little annoying that I have to do that. Uh, looking at his belt, see that the paint, the paint application looks eh, pretty decent. Uh, it doesn't look too bad with the exception of the uh, little splotch right there. Overall, not too bad. Alright, let's just take a close second look at his face. Again, looks pretty good. The hair looks pretty nice. It's a pretty good fade on there, on his haircut. Alright, now going over the articulation of the John Cena figure. Uh, it's pretty much the same as every single WWE Elite figure. Uh, they all share the same articulation for the most part. I um, haven't really seen uh, too much variation throughout at least the male figures. So again, he has the base, basic elite articulation, so the head is on a ball joint. It can swivel all the way around. It can go slightly up, not too much. It can go down just a little bit. Uh, the arms are on a rotation at the shoulder. It can hinge outward, both arms. Uh, the biceps are on a bicep swivel. That's a bit of a tight swivel, actually. Well, let's see if we can get it on this one. No? Huh. Interesting. There is a bicep swivel there. It's just a little tight. There it goes. Uh, he does have a single jointed elbow. Again, all the elite male figures have single jointed elbows. Actually, the females as well have single jointed elbows. Uh, the wrists have a swivel and a hinge. He does have a torso articulation. Here he has an ab crunch, so you can go that far back. Now let me fix that arm. Now let me fix the focus. So he can go that far back, that far down. So that's not too great, but it's not bad either. So it's really good, actually, for a wrestling figure. Uh, he has a swivel at the waist. The legs are on a ball joint. So the hips can go that far outward. It goes up that high and it goes back uh, just slightly. It can't go further back due to um, his uh, backside, his butt there. The knees are double jointed. Uh, both knees are, obviously. Get that nice and focused. Uh, there is a calf rotation. Uh, the feet are on a hinge, so you can go that far down, that far up, and there is a slight ankle pivot, not too great. Alright, now that we went over the accessories and the articulation, what are my final thoughts on this John Cena action figure? Um, I really like it. I'm really enjoying this figure. Um, as I mentioned before, I don't have any other John Cena figures, so this is my first one. Uh, main reason why I've never picked them up was that I'm not really a John Cena fan. So a lot of the figures just didn't really interest me. This one really caught my attention due to the fact that he has interchangeable hands. So this is something that we have not seen before, at least 
in a lot of the uh, WWE elites. So this is something new that Mattel is doing with their newer waves. So this really sold me on getting this figure. The fact that you can do the you can't see me taunt that he does. Also, he has his, basically his entrance gear. He's got his shirt, his dog tags, and his hat. So this is a solid figure. I think this is something that uh, people like myself who don't have John Cena in their collection, this is a good one to start out with. If you're a John Cena fan or a completionist, again, great figure to pick up. Uh, he's widely available in all stores that uh, sell WWE elites. Uh, you can easily pick him up online. So yeah, go ahead, pick this guy up. Uh, if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you want to show some love, why not subscribe to me? I'm going to be doing more WWE Elite reviews in the very near future. So you can go ahead and watch those if you subscribe. Also, share this video with any friends or family that like wrestling or that like WWE elites. That'll really help out this channel. Um, at the But before you sign off and uh, hit that exit button, uh, there will be a slideshow at the end. So this is something that I'm going to be doing at the end of each video, just showing a slideshow of uh, pictures of this figure in action. So until next time, I'll see you later.